Hello viewers and welcome to another great day. I'm still your instructor Dr. Don or you can call me Maxi from Learn With Your Brains and today I'm going to show you how ethical hackers, protesters and even cyber security professionals use this powerful tool as an alternate analysis tool to gather profile information about targets when they are doing analysis on maybe a specific person or someone who was being able or like being in a, a corporate or maybe a, a cyber crime on a cyber attack on the company or a website where it leaves his or it details uh, when doing the attack on the company so with this information be uh, gotten by the cyber security experts or even penetrating testers they can do a deep analysis on maybe the username the hacker or someone left behind and try to do a deep analysis information to find where the target was coming from where the person location with this powerful tool so without wasting much of our time let's get into the video or the tutorial so that i show you how to use this powerful tool by ethical hackers pen testers and cyber security professionals to perform these analysis so well, first thing all you need to do is to go to google but before that, the operating system you're going to use to do this analysis is the Kali system. You can use the Sage operating system because I'm using another machine. I have Kali installed on this machine and I have a different machine with Sage installed. So this is the machine. I left my other machine uh, somewhere else uh, down the uh, line and this is the one close to me. So I'm going to use this to do this analysis today. Okay. So uh let's get into the video itself so what i'm going to do is to navigate to the website so that we download this tool all together so that we follow along this video so the first thing is to go to google chrome and look for this tool called what um let me scroll up so you see the name of the tool the tool is called profile and or the profiler okay and it's an awesome tool that allows you to persons accounts and email or bridge emails and it was done or programmed by this programmer called Roger Smith. It is quite some you know it has some updates just two days ago which means the, uh, the, the programmer tried to update these two so that it functions properly. So all we need to do is to when you're familiar with the terminal of Kali it's so simple when you need to follow the steps all you need to do is to click here copy this link by clicking this link that's all okay but before i go and paste it in my linux terminal all i need to do is to show you something down here so when we come down to the page of this uh, github repository which is hosting this uh, programmers uh, tool all you need to do is to read the information you provided here is a prerequisite you need to install python 3 before you can install this tool to use so I have Python 3 already installed on my Kali, which is simple if you want to install. Let me go back here. All you need to do is to type in Python. No, all you need to do is to type in apt-get install. And maybe you just type in Python 3 p. That's all. Then you hit enter, it's going to install all the packages Python 3 hosts for you. But because I've already installed, I don't need this. All I need to do is to paste the link here. Okay. Perfect. This was the link where I get by. I need to put in a first command here. Okay. That's why it's already read. All I need to do is git. Then I should clone this repository. Perfect. Then hit enter. It's going to clone all anything we found here. Okay, it's going to clone it in. As you can see, it's working now. Okay, it's trying to resolve and download all the package. So, since it's done, let's go back to this and let's see how this tool works. So, the feature of this tool is to search through domains like .com, .org, data, links, and emails to find, and social service to find. If you have profile on Instagram, Facebook, and the rest, and it goes to the music, the programming page, and also it's a powerful tool. So 
let me go back here i need to use to this my tools i'm gonna click here place the tools i'll cd into profile which is this go and hit tab it automatically complete then i'll list the files in it i know i need to do is to start to run the tools i know this is the tool okay i can just hit profile and hit enter with three it's already logged into the folder i know i need to do is to start to compile this before we'll be able uh, to continue everything we're doing so all i need to this go back so after installing this into your uh, root directory all you need to do is to go back to this side and copy this link this is pip install profile and all you need to do is to just paste it here as simple as that okay i just copy this this was what i did first i don't need this so i'll just copy it from here and i'll just come here delete this i don't need this and just paste it okay paste the selection and hit enter it's going to install this powerful profiler for us so let's wait for some time for it to do its job uh, based on your internet connection whether it's too strong or it's too soft or it's too bad okay so let's wait for some time So you could see it's still downloading the packages for us. So let's wait for some time. It's going to get everything done in some seconds. Okay, perfect. It's done. So all you need to do is to let's go back to the tool. And when I scroll down here, it shows you how to use this application itself. So when you come down here, he said all you need to do is to just you go up i think it's right here okay so if you can find it in the right here all you need to do is to go here and just type in pro perfect then hit minus h it's going to show you how to use this powerful tool so let's wait for some time so all it needs you to do is to just use it by using pro then minus p for the profile you want to search on so i'll be using my name into this tutorial so all i need to do is to just type in profiler minus p which is my lsa ceo dot done okay just hit enter and now we see select operator up and down with space so all i need to do is to hit space to select space space then all i need to do is now i can hit enter and now we see select the service you want to use whether to search for information using domain email so let's hit in no i will not hit enter for this i didn't select any of it uh and here is asking me which profile do i want to okay so we because we did a mistake we are going to uh, start uh using the tool again let me quit it and let's run it again so that you follow so first you just hit the space bar let's hit enter and now use space to select where you want this tool to search for you need some emails the determine i think i'm on vimeo maybe Let's say you can find even your profile in Hacker News and you see the gaming, maybe Steam. And let's say hosting, sometimes maybe WordPress. Okay, let's say Medium, if I have an account there. 
car shop. Maybe I don't have money there. Buy me coffee. Patron. Okay, Spotify. Pun, pun, pun. I'm not a fan of pun. But I know some people will say, oh, he's trying to pretend. Okay, get up. Then I think. Let's see. Facebook. A whole lot. Instagram. Twitter, Skype. Okay, then I think I'm done with all these things. I don't need anything. Then maybe after that I hit enter. And now what is going to do is this tool is going to search through all these media I selected. Okay. You could see using some permutations to test for each service okay if you understand permutation in mathematics you will understand what we're trying to mean so it will take some time to go through all this and populate the information whether it's going to find that profile i uh, inserted when it asks me so that it is going to give you deep analysis whether the person is using this name on this account this account this account so this is how penetrating testers, ethical hackers, and cybersecurity do some kind of information analysis using this powerful OSNET tool to look for a target who try to hack a company and leave an identity, maybe a username or through maybe uh, some accounts. He was able to tamper some different account with his real name. This is how. You can use this powerful tool to do that kind of analysis to find out uh, information. So it's going through all this. So let's wait for some time. It's going to be done no, for a time. Okay. I think this is taking a whole lot of time and our time. So that's all what you need to do because of my internet is quite slow this evening. So I just need to, it's still going through. And it's telling me to still wait because you can see you can reduce this number by selecting less option if it takes long time. So you can just use two to test. Of course, I've selected all this. is going through a whole lot of database lists on these domains to find out whether they're going to find my name on this website. That is why I told you it's going to take long. I could have used only one app so that you know. Now we started trying to populate like done on Buy Me Coffee. I think I have an account done, so it started showing me. Or this you can click the link and it will send you to send you straight to the uh, the domain of this so this brings us to the end of this tutorial i need to end this because we've done a lot okay for the rest you can try on your own so that you start populating and start going to the website to check on that so see you in our next tutorial take care and stay safe goodbye i'm still considering Dr. Dr.